We are here at beautiful Magnolia Beach, Texas, where you can boondock on the beach for 14 days for free. Okay, so when you're hooked up and you're driving, how many of you try to avoid like the bigger cities? See, I don't mind driving through big cities typically, except there's one city I hate driving through and that's Houston. See, we had some problems driving through Houston when we were when we first started. I just, uh, there's something about Houston that still kind of hangs out with me. So today we routed and we went right through Houston. Wasn't bad though, traffic wasn't great, but the drive wasn't bad. But I'm gonna show you this view. This is where we're gonna be for next couple of days. And that. So when you think about boondocking on a beach, the first thing that came to my mind was, are we gonna get stuck? And as far as that goes here at Magnolia Beach, you will not get stuck in the sand. It's super hard packed sand, and it's actually mostly just shells. So it's really hard, compact. You're not gonna get stuck in it. Look how close our rig is to the water. Everybody just kind of like back in single file. We try to get some distance between you and your neighbor, which is nice because we do have quite a big area on both sides of us and then look how close you are. Okay, there's about a mile and a half of beachfront for you to park on here. Now, there's also some other areas down where there's some picnic tables and some day use areas, but it's the beachfront that that's, that's where it's at. Now, they ask you when you back in to do it perpendicular to the water, and the reason for this is so that, obviously, we could fit more vehicles. Now, when we pulled in, uh, everybody was kind of at a slant. Now, last time we were here, it was the same way. Everybody kind of slanted just a little bit to give themselves a little bit better view of the water. So we followed suit, but it does give a great great view out your back window. This time the slant was, it worked against us. So we parked where basically our, our little kitchen window pointed out toward the water. But I don't know, we, we were with the slant. We were there, we were with it. So when you pull in, you just find the biggest spot you wanna park into. And the spots are pretty big because everybody's pretty spaced out. And even if you don't like backing in, it's pretty easy to back in. You just don't wanna go too far because well, I mean, there's water. There's water back there. So the first time we came out here, Sarah started researching the best way to get out here because the whole island's kind of, kind of a loop. And we started reading in blogs and Facebook posts that there's a bridge that has weight restrictions on it. So right there, that bridge right there, there's just a really confusing sign on it. So what we ended up doing is we called the Texas Department of Transportation and they cleared it up. It just says weight limit, axle or tandem, 10,000 pounds. Yeah, it, it's per axle, eh? It's 10,000 pounds per axle, not gross. And we've watched many RVs go over the top of this. We just watched a school bus go over the top of it. Now, if you live in Texas and you know that sign that means something different, leave a comment below. So this is what you're after? Yes, sir. And, then, uh -huh. <laughs> and he just happened to be straight down below me when I jumped it. That is crazy. So while we pulled over to film this about the bridge, there was a guy up here fishing for his bait and he caught this big fish. He called it a garbage fish. He ended up throwing that back in. But he also caught a, a large shrimp that was in a bucket. No, just cool stuff. We really love this lifestyle. Now we've had some bumps along the way, but really overall it has been worth it for us. And we get to experience some really unique different things that we never would have experienced before and great views. And boondocking has really become something that we love. We love being able to just pull up somewhere, pick a spot back in, get these incredible views like this. Now RV parks, you know, we, we still stay in RV parks and I still appreciate an RV park. I love to go and have unlimited water and being able to wash all my clothes, do my laundry, that's great. So we still do enjoy an RV park, but this kind of life, being out in the nature, being out picking our spots, getting to see and back up right here to these ocean views, that is what really gets us. That's what pulls us in and we are just loving that part of this. We did get to go to a Bucky's while we're here. So Magnolia Beach, first time I went to a Bucky's, we see that posted all the time. People take their pictures of the rigs in front of a, a Bucky's. 
Um, the Bucky's here is too small. I can't take a picture of the rig, but I don't know. Outside of the cheap fuel, I I, I didn't get what the what the, the thing yeah, was. There's a lot of hype about it, but maybe it is truly just about the cheap fuel. They didn't even have a thing to wash your windows. <laughs> no buckets, no things anywhere. So that I, really I, bothered you. It, it really did, because I needed to wash the windows. We're getting ready for a drive day, and I'm like, I, I need to wash the windows. Okay, it's our first time fueling up at a Bucky's. There's no, nothing to wash your windows with. So the bottom line is get out there and try boondocking. If you haven't tried it, or just go boondocking. Magnolia Beach, it was a perfect place to boondock. It is, and we'll see you next time. We'll see ya. Okay, we're leaving, but I'm gonna run down here real fast. I'm gonna put my teeth in the water. Okay. Everybody loves the sunshine. Everybody loves the sunshine.